change come from inside. But the only real change come from inside. Ah! I leave to sneaker con. Why do I say I leave to sneaker con? Sneaker con's not till Saturday, but I leave to Charlotte tonight. My flight was originally at 12:30 a.m. It just got delayed to 1 a.m. So I don't have to be at the airport till 12. That means I'm gonna leave my apartment at like 11 ish. It is currently 9:41, so I have like an hour and 20 minutes or so. And uh, I didn't vlog today. It was one of those day. Well, I'm having one of those weeks actually. It's one of those weeks where it's like, if you watched the last few vlogs, you've seen that I've literally been in my house 90% of the time. Me being home and not going out I've been able to upload crew kicks every day so I'm really focusing on my work more than anything <sighs> just getting everything back in rhythm pretty much I was trying to think of things I could do and one thing I haven't done in a very long time is a Q&A so I thought I would uh, I tweeted out ask me some questions in regards to 2016 I haven't looked at the questions yet so while I look at that I'm gonna pack too we got 125 questions and I tweeted 11 minutes ago okay favorite moment of 2016 16 favorite moment I honestly wouldn't say I have a favorite moment the things that happened in 2016 I would have never dreamed of like things were crazy I would say my favorite moments were th during the tour because I got to travel cross country even though we call it the just hectic tour to me I appreciated it after because I got to see the whole United States and I got to meet incredible people and it was motivating as hell and um, also creating memories with Bay. <laughs> so that was great because it's like year one for us. How many times did you exercise? Favorite shoe in your collection, which has been asked like four times. And I'm not gonna answer that till the end because that's like the grand finale because I already know what my favorite shoe is of 20 2016 and you guys are not gonna expect it. Favorite merch drop. My favorite merch drop, I think it was the black and red I feel like a hypey shirt, which is the first shirt that we released at Sneaker Con Bay Area. The I feel like a hype beast thing obviously came, obviously came from I feel like Pablo, and everybody called me a hype beast, and everybody called me a hype beast, and I was like, you know what, I'm proud to be a hype beast, let me throw it on a shirt, and we didn't reveal it, until the day of sneaker con San Francisco and people just went bananas and the demand for it was crazy We did the online drop with just a hundred shirts. It sold out in like four minutes And then we're like yo, we gotta release these for more people. I see them at all the meetups I seen a few bootleg ones too. So once you start once companies start selling bootlegs on Amazon and eBay That means something right? So uh, that's definitely my favorite drop of favorite merchandise drop of the year. What's my biggest regret and my biggest accomplishment of the year? My biggest regret is not being consistent on crew kicks. I just kind of lost focus of it. And my biggest accomplishment, I mean, is just building the crew and to this day, still building it and building it and building it. And there's not, we did so much this year that there's not just one accomplishment that stands over the other, but everything it's been a blessing. I never take it for granted. Everybody's asking the shoe, the shoe question. Favorite sneaker con. My favorite sneaker con. Wow, that's a good one. San Francisco, LA, and New York. And the reasons for that is not no disrespect to the other cities, but the reason for that is because the whole crew was there. It wasn't just two of us, it wasn't just me alone. Everybody was able to come to those sneaker cons, and I had so much fun with you guys, and I had so much fun with them, and the vibes were crazy. The Bay Area was really fun. I didn't get to leave the booth a lot. I'm gonna say probably New York just because it had the basketball game. What's your most fire clothing cop from 2016? My most fire clothing cop, I think this is my favorite, honestly. This was my favorite hoodie right here, which I barely wore. It's the Las Vegas uh, Pablo. And then this is my favorite jacket. It's the WWE Legends, kind of like a Bomber coach Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is the back right here. I wore this to sneaker con DC. I believe this is definitely my favorite favorite jacket favorite clothing pickup of the year What sneaker do you regret buying the most? That's a good question I'm pretty sure they came out this year the low top one shadows. They're a size nine and a half. They're just too small This is one of my biggest regrets favorite album of the year Travis Scott and I'm saying that 
over Pablo and I'm saying that over uh, views. I love views, I love Pablo, but there was something about Travis Scott's album and I'm not even a diehard fan like that. I listened to his album and it was just, it blew me away and I still listen to that like nonstop. So Travis Scott's album, I'm gonna give that album of the year in my opinion. What was your biggest L of 2K16? When my fragments got stolen, yeah, if anybody remembers that vlog, because they left him outside my door, got him off eBay, and uh, took a L. What's your Charlotte merch looking like? I actually just posted it on my Snapchat, right there. It's a forest green, and that's all I'm gonna say. It's beautiful, man, it is beautiful. First of all, I regret buying this, because I haven't wore it. Should I take this to Charlotte with me? Yo, low-key. This is gonna take up 90% of my freaking bag, man. Everyone's asking me what I think of J. Cole's album, which is, I have a stop in Minnesota, and it's saying my flight from Minnesota departs 10 minutes earlier, but my flight leaving LA to Minnesota is an hour, is 30 minutes delayed. From what I heard, it is a cool vibe. I'm looking forward to listening to it on my the plane ride, I feel like. Red Eye Flight, Late Night, that's the perfect album to listen to. That album and Post Malone's album. I listened to a few songs from Post Malone's album and it is fire. How would you describe your year in one word? <sighs> unreal. It's been unreal for me. It's been the craziest year of my life, honestly. I'm not taking the camel pants. Where's my phone? I don't know where to put my phone. What is your favorite movie of the year? Good question. There wasn't a really good movie. Like there wasn't no Wolf of Wall Street. There wasn't no Anchorman. There wasn't no Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. Those are some of my favorite movies, by the way. Oh, I was gonna say Star Wars, but that came out December last year. Civil War, I really like that. Iron Man versus uh, Captain America. There wasn't really any other movies that really stood out to me, honestly. Favorite sneaker collab of the year. I don't know, I, I would say OVO Jordan, but I don't know if you would consider that a collab. Supreme Jordan 5s, call me a high beast. And I have the white ones too, but I'm not gonna pull those out. Where did what costs actually hear about that from? I heard about that. <laughs> Favorite porn site. What was the most important thing that helped you skyrocket this year? Consistency! I know I'm not the most consistent person, but I learned that when you are consistent, you can't fail. If it hasn't worked for the first hundred times you tried, if you keep trying, you're gonna finally get it right. Consistency is key. And I've learned that, I, I mean, I still mess up from this day because I'm not consistent with crew kicks, but I'm learning, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting back in rhythm. Oh, freaking Farouk's the one that asked me where uh, what cause heard about that actually. Okay, there's a few questions that, I'm done with the questions already filled up. Like, they, there's no more questions, I don't think. Let me refresh one more time. There's a few questions that, that weren't in there that I kind of wish were in there. So I'll just ask them to myself. Kais, what was your favorite YouTube channel of 2016? My favorite YouTube channel of 2016, I think it's obvious, was Casey Neistat and What Culture Wrestling. I love What Culture Wrestling. They do their best top 10. I love Casey, obviously, he's just on another level. But those two channels were my go-to channels. I didn't say any names this time because I'm packing, so I didn't, I'm sorry if I didn't shout you guys out, I apologize. That was the most asked question, was the best sneaker, my favorite sneaker of 2016. I can show you, I have two number ones. The other one is didn't come out in 2016, so I'm gonna save that for my top 10 sneaker pickups of 2016, but as far as the best shoe that came out in 2016, this shoe right here was my favorite sneaker pickup, my favorite sneaker colorway, and my favorite shoe of 2016. I wore this more than anything. I love it to death, and you guys are gonna be probably surprised, but this is my favorite sneaker of 2016. The black and white, uncaged, well, black and gray, uncaged Ultra Boost. And this is the general release. This is no hype. This is the most comfortable, the most wearable. My freaking favorite, like, Look how much I wore this, like there's lint on the inside. Shout out to Mina, she actually got me these, so she knows me very well. That is pretty much gonna be it for today's vlog. I'm gonna finally finish up packing. This is all I got done so far is my underwear, um, some warm clothes, my jacket, my electronics, 
charging some stuff up over here. Charlotte, I will see you this weekend at SneakerCon. Thank you guys for watching today's vlog, even though it was just me in my room again. I promise you this weekend's vlog is going to be lit because we're going to Charlotte for the last SneakerCon of 2016. I hope to see some of you guys there. And uh, I'm out of here, man. Take it easy.